Sitting with the unruly hedge opposite Gerald's house. Hedge clipping. Yes. Lovely, lovely. All right, Gerald. The G dog is going to be dead chuffed as I've been out and sorted his hedge out for him. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, Jeremy. Grease, now turn that machine up or else it doesn't take that edge out for God's sake. There wasn't the edge to let that car, boy. Just put her into that. Fucking hell. <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? Look at that. He's missed all the brambles, though. I told him to start from the bottom and then work up. That's like putting a T-shirt on your back so mates the bloody old land of a church, I reckon. If you was a pigeon, that for, well, cut his carpet. Here you are, mate. Tell him off. I said, I don't know, I don't know so much about the machine, the network of that. It's the sun's going on now. I mean, it's not going to back your machine up. Oh, yeah, you was all wrong. I thought you were distracting the instead of the road. Yeah, it's a and something like that. You're not happy, then? Right. Well, that's me sacked, then. And Gerald took us on a tour of the clubhouse. So you take two all off us, sent him mad. He went off the road on the way, huh? Where we discovered he was a bit of a local legend. Well, it's not you, because it's in colour. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, there's a K Cooper in here. Of course there is. Uh, oh, wait a minute, I'm in the 80s here. Gerald Cooper. Where are you? Here. Is that you, still yeah. with the same moustache? Yeah. I'll tell you what, that line up there, they're sure being all a lot of them. So he didn't hear all the plays. They were all 22, and they, you know what I mean? Oh, it's God, that's you. you. That's you. Yeah. You look like... I just did tiger feet on top of the pops, and then I played football. Then he said, sit round the corner and everything at one time. Oh, God, yeah, that's the, no. Looking at someone like a slave there. <laughs> Back at the office, I assembled my judging panel. Ten past six. <laughs> and that is beer time. This is our spring barley. Yeah. There you go. It is nice and clear, isn't it? It's a nose beer, that. Over the next couple of hours, we worked our way through the case and discussed many matters of great importance. I like a beer on a hot day. Yeah. I do like a beer on yeah. a hot day. Hard day's work, a beer after. Yeah, the couple of these, off you make with the, what you... So I think that's do it for you. Sometimes, whatever you have, these out there, if it was about 90 degrees out there, go down a tree. You know, if I have a beer, I love yeah. the smell of beer. Yeah. I've been where you've been and he's been. It's because you're on barley. To put more than twice as big as that. Supper or pickled onions or something. Like the Agberg, whatever it is, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> The wise words. Wise words. Yeah, I like a, I like a session beer, cos I like a lot of points. A session? What is a session? A session. He's going for the sesh. You know, a session <laughs> beer. Haven't yeah. had that for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is. Oh. So if you could give us a hand. Yeah. Which meant asking my head of security to help me fit a high-tech alarm system. I saw this on YouTube. And I thought, well, that's just bob on. It's a really good idea, this. Everyone shoots a bullet. Tommy's probably got a one that comes as far as here. Well, I always think your approach to security is quite sensible. Yeah, I don't want no full front at once just meeting great big men when I come out, you know? Blokes with axes and stuff. I don't want a lot of that these days. Whatever that is, we don't no need to worry anymore. So, take this off. If it's a real damp, foggy night, Oh, yeah, I guess. Now, the idea is, somebody comes in, it detects their movement, yeah? Yeah. And then a siren goes off. Yeah. And the siren triggers these, which are smoke canisters. 
Yeah. So, I mean, this whole barn will be will, black and cover that properly dense. thick smoke. Yeah. And you can't see a thing. The, the thing is, though, with that big short piece that starts the wars, and then there's a piece that'll kill at least 12 people in one shot, front on to the narrow, where the, you know, where the edge finishes, because it hasn't got no prill, you know, until you've cleaned it all out. At once, just edge it sewed in as well, really. Mm. They were joined by a rival from Wall Street and his wife. Hi, Gerald. How are we? How are you, Mrs. Gerald? Yeah. This is good, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Best you up through that narrow. Them black, someone's go crazy, isn't mm. they? Yeah. These owl catchers on, they call them, don't they? Your cinema, any of your sound? This is, I don't know, I think, I just, what I'm looking at my bum there, I reckon they can do it now, a chain. That's what I don't like about the job. <laughs> um, but I'm going to have a try at this. Mercifully, we were interrupted at this point by Gerald, who wanted to inspect my handiwork. That looks great, doesn't it? Dear, oh dear. So that, 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 those. What a load of shit. I mean, it's in a minute, we should have blocks, you know. Every time you pull out, you've got to try and get the baby between the stunt for the thing. You know, you're never going to put in the jacket because you're looking at cars and buses and stuff all the time. The more you can't mark, you know, it's like mowing grass. You go, whoop, look at that one and it's all done, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Which meant I had to do some preparatory work with my head of security. Right, the bull's coming at three, so yeah. in about an hour. Yeah. So I've got to get these signs up telling ramblers, because, you know, this is a public footpath. Yeah. That there's a bull in the field. But here's what's interesting. You can't put on the sign, danger, bull, because then I'm admitting I know it's dangerous, and then that makes me liable. But you can't say it's safe either, because... Yeah. Have you ever been attacked by a bull? I know an old farm, you know, this is a story. <laughs> when they were doing the winter littering down, like, going in the sh like this with, the, with those bales, they must weigh half a tonne, those rain bales, don't they? If you come down to an aeroport that them ladies used to wear years ago, just his neck muscles, up like that. But you never can tell. I mean, go in the ring with them, a lot of them. That far with the front wheels off the ground, that was with the bale in, in the thing and all. Right, now, I've got some signs. That's why I didn't, was never a big lover of having a bull. So... You have to be careful. I've had these done. <laughs> <laughs> You know those people in the village yeah, that moan all the time? Yeah. And they're oh, 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 in the pub on a Sunday with their red trousers on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 right. Yeah, that's the one. Once the signs were up, I showed Gerald how I'd used farm equipment as a bull containment measure. So we've got an electric fence there. If that doesn't work, I put this here yeah. as a barrier. Yeah. Stop them getting on the footpath. So if you was me or you would ask me to go out there with you, you know, all the whole world would go over there, wouldn't they? Simple as that. Hi, Jeremy. Sorry about this. You can be Macron and sit down there. What have we got here? Um, so there are a few things. We've got uh, some planning stuff back from the council. All right. Hey, look who's here. G-Dog, are you feeling better? Well, you know, it's got to be like this where the dog goes underneath and that. Well, so that really helped. Are you still positive? Yeah. Can we just notice this? He's in his 70s, positive up and about. In my 60s, positive up and about. Unlike the snowflake generation, well, no wonder I know it's in there. I mean, bloody hell, he's not in there. How much is that pipe? It's about a pound a metre, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. If we go straight across the field... We could have had this whole idea before we planted our spring barley. It's all coming up looking lovely. You don't even look... Yeah, his soils is over the ground when no, you no. planted it. And he went, if it's still... It'll all come up, you, would, you well, wouldn't even see big, it. Great big horses running along, along, running along it, yeah, <laughs> making it bumpy as hell. I literally don't know what you two are talking about. <laughs> Unless there's sort of hundred of them in like this, with his feet marks. You don't have any more rain now, it's corral wood, as I call it. Do you, you don't even know what you're doing? Hello. 
Top of the farm shop, neck people in. Somebody's going to go whoop straight in some about. Well, you know. G Dog. Gerald. Do you want to come for a helicopter ride? <laughs> Someone want me to go over to her in. You know, no, I can keep my bomb proof. I says, no, I'll take your curls off. <laughs> Assuming that was a no, I helped strap in the nervous feet.